you guys, it's Ben Zinn with NextLevelGuitar.com and today we're coming to you again with one of our Inspired by Lessons. And we're going to take a look at playing some pedal steel sort of licks for the guitar using our slides. So let's go ahead and get rolling. Hey you guys, before we continue on, take a look down here in the YouTube text box. There's a link for a free video lesson and a coinciding ebook that we're going to include for you. It's not available on YouTube. It's exclusively through nextlevelguitar.com. So take a look at that and we'll continue on. So just a couple of ground rules that we can go by if you're just getting into slide. You can wear it on any finger that you like. I wear it on my second finger here. Um, all kinds of different slides that you can choose from all just kind of boils down to personal preference but as far as the technique goes we want to hover above uh, above the strings and not depress like we do when we fret a note so for example if i'm playing my third fret here i press in the middle of the fret but when i play slide i hover above the actual fret wire and i'm not applying any pressure i'm just letting it hover right over the top there Additionally, one thing that you can do that will help cut down on noise, extra string noise, is to keep a finger behind here. That's going to help cut down on some of your extraneous noise. And with the right hand, I like to play finger style or without a pick because it helps me silence or dampen the notes. You can certainly play with a pick, um, but as you get more into it, you may find that Switching over to finger style and experimenting with that's going to help you out some too. Okay, so the idea that we're talking about today is to try to emulate some of the sounds of the pedal steel. Really gorgeous instrument, and we can get some of the same sort of vibes out of that instrument on our guitar. A lot of pedal steel players use a volume pedal to swell in the attack. So we're going to do the same sort of thing. Any note that I play, I'm playing on my slide here, we'll just say I'll, I'll play my third fret on the first string. I'm going to attack the note and start adding a little bit of vibrato to it before I even swell in the volume. So you can hear by doing that, all I'm hearing when uh, the note starts ringing out is the sound of the note vibrating. I'm not hearing the attack or the pick on the note. And that's really one of the big keys to getting this sound, is swelling it in. If you don't have a volume pedal, you can do a similar approach by turning up your volume on your, on your guitar. Volume pedal works a little bit better if you have it though. So just starting with that approach and playing single notes, you're already getting into sort of that pedal steel territory. Uh, so you can experiment with that, have a lot of fun with just playing single strings. Take anything, I'm just playing up and down one string using playing a major scale. So if I know my scale steps and I can see my major scale across the string, away you go. Playing in C, second string. There's the root note, and I'll just take the scale down to give you a road map for where to slide to. Now let's add in our volume pedal in our slide. If you don't want to swell each note, you can slide in between one, two, three, a bunch of them, you know, and just kind of start to mix it up a little bit. So here's maybe playing one or two, or rather two or three notes per volume swell instead of just one. Or three notes. And one last note about the volume pedal, you'll notice there I didn't 
go all the way. I didn't use all of my juice, so to speak, uh, right at the beginning, because as our notes start to die out, we can maintain volume by you know, leaving a little bit of room to go. So, you know, I'll kind of go about halfway until I hear the notes start to die out and I'll give it more volume to kind of balance it out. That's just kind of a nice feel thing that you can do to extend the life of your note, <laughs> like it's a battery or something. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple uh, two-string two ideas that we can do now that we've played through one string. Uh, there's some great chord voicings that we can get on the guitar that to also kind of replicate this vibe. So um, we're going to be working on strings two, three, and four. And basically, if I'm, if I'm in the key of C, I'm going to be thinking about, set this down for a moment, thinking about this chord. And just strings two, three, and four, let's go ahead and take that away. So this is what we're left with. And that's very convenient for us in playing slide because we don't have to angle our fingers or do anything. We have everything in a nice line right there. So I can attack those three strings, hold over there with the slide, and I have a nice little pedal steel sort of grip that I can play there. Just a three note chord there. And of course, anything that works here works further up the neck. So we can play through a chord progression, like a 1-4-5 chord progression, using that same voicing further up the neck. C right here. Tenth fret would be our F. That'd be our four chord. And twelfth fret would be a G chord, or in this case, our five chord. So we can play through a progression now using that approach. Once we get used to those anchors that we're finding across the fretboard, we can start to spice things up a little bit. We can do some chromatic movement going from chord to chord. So let's take a look at our previous example here. One, four, now let's go ahead and work this up just in half steps up to our five chord. So that gives me a nice little in-between chord to go to. We can take the same thing on the way back down too. We can start to play just two note groupings out of our larger three note voicing that we're working with here gives us even more options. So revisiting our initial C chord, let's just play the outside notes there and see what happens. So just strings two and four now. It's just different enough from our three note chord. Those are three notes. our two note chord. We can take that same approach now again through our one four five. Now that you have a little bit of experience playing with some of the two note groupings, you can start to alternate with our right hand approach here. We can alternate thumb and index and middle. So I'm just on my C chord here with my right hand. And what I'm doing here over here with the slide is just kind of working down 
in half steps. Nothing too crazy here. Off of my C. <laughs> taking that sucker down a half step at a time. You guys there you go hopefully some fun techniques that you can apply for your own playing a uh, couple of different ideas on how to emulate the sound of a pedal steel so if you're interested in this subject I'd encourage you to go back and check out some additional videos by Jeffrey Paul Ross another one of our great instructors here at next level he has some great additional ideas on how to achieve that sound so also make sure that you go to our website nextlevelguitar.com we have over a thousand different video lessons there for players of all ages, all styles. Uh, players of beginners, intermediates, advanced, you name it, we got you covered there. So thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.